In this screencast, we're going to talk about definition list. This type of list is typically used for items that have term and description relationship. For example, an English vocabulary and its definition can be coded using definition list. And although definition lists are meant for term and description in a textual kind of way, a lot of web designers actually use definition lists to create navigation menus for a website. Before I go into that, let me show you what definition list would look like. Let's create a new HTML file. So if you want to create a definition list, you would have to do DL and that opens up your list. Then within the definition list, you can do DT, which is the term. Let's put vocab here. Then you can have DD, which is the description. Definition one. You can have more than one definitions. Two. Let's save this file in my HTML folder. Let me name it index, minimize, pull back the HTML folder that I have opened, though the index in Firefox. So the default way of displaying definition this is this is the de uh, term and then all the definitions will be indented. You can use CSS to play with text, font size, color, and margins, paddings, background colors to make it look suitable for your website. Let's minimize this. I have another page that I made. It's called definition.html. I used definition list to create a navigation menu for a website. So menu 1, menu 2, menu 3, they're individual definition lists. And if I mouse over menu 1, you'll see that there are additional links that pops up. Same here, same here. Let me show you what it looks like in my source code. I have some CSS styles. Within the body I have three DL tags within the DL tags I have one DT and a few DD tags. Let's go up to the CSS styles. This is a general styling. I made the text decoration none. And I made the DL tags display block float left with 100 pixels. This is how I lined them up in line horizontally. Then the DT tags, they have some general stylings. The A tags within the DT tags would look white. And all the DD tags right now has a display none. So initially, it shows nothing. You won't be able to see all this, any of the sublinks. I gave it margin padding zero. This is just some general styling. When I mouse over anchor tag, Inside the DD tag, I'll have color black. And this line is the magic line. So if I mouse over a DL tag, all of its DD tags would get display block. So initially, it has display none. But when I mouse over the DL tag, all the DD tags within that DL tag would have its display set to block. And that's how I have the menu set up. Let's minimize this. Let me show it to you again. Like that, like that, like that. I'm going to show you two websites that offer some insights or some good, good examples of what you can use with definition lists. First one is CSS Play. This one is also a menu. And let me mouse over. 
This one looks very pretty. And this one actually allows you to use it in Internet Explorer 6. The one that I've created here doesn't work in Internet Explorer 6. This one has what's called a browser hack to be able to work in more browsers. Then there's this site, TJK Design, offers a very good example of what you can do using JavaScript to set this kind of effect. So this would be the term, question one. This would be the definition, which is the answer. And this actually used JavaScript, which will be covered in later listen screencasts. And that's it for this screencast. Thank you.